Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay. If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today's video is a highly requested video. It is all about Q Kids. If you guys aren't familiar with Q Kids, it's my job. I teach English to kids in China from home. It's a really, really great platform if you want to work from home and you like the flexibility of it all or you travel a lot. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all the things about Q Kids. What it looks like in the classroom, how much you get paid, the hiring process, the application process, all that stuff I'll be sharing with you guys. I wrote down a whole bunch of stuff to kind of cover, so hopefully this video doesn't go too long. So the first question that I got a lot from you guys is what is Q Kids? So like I said, it's a platform. You teach kids in China English. So you've heard all the time about people, you know, traveling to different countries to teach English. This is a really great option just because you can live wherever you are, stay where you are, but also get the benefits of teaching children English. It's really, really fun. I really, really love it. And as far as I know, they are still hiring. So I will leave the link down below if you guys do want to apply for it after you watch the video. Definitely go down and click that link and become my coworker. So the second question that I get asked a lot is how much do they pay you? Each classroom is 30 minutes long and you get paid per class you teach. So it ends up being either a minimum of $16 an hour but a maximum of $20 an hour depending on if you get the bonuses. A 30 minute class is $8 flat fee starting. And then you have two bonuses. You have an attendance bonus and you also have a performance bonus. If you teach more than 15 classes in a week, you get a dollar per class which is $2 per hour. And then if you get really high performance rating from the parents, then you get another dollar per class and again, $2 per hour. So if you get both of those, you get an extra $4 an hour, making it $20 per hour. And it's not really hard to get those as long as you're engaged and you know you know what you're doing and you're very you know friendly and upbeat with the kids. You generally get a performance bonus every single time. I'll get occasionally like one performance bonus missing, which is like a dollar per week or something because I do teach quite a lot but you get the occasional parent that wanted you know more engagement or if your volume is kind of messed up or something like that those all kind of planned apart in your bonus but the minimum that you get even if you don't get an attendance bonus if you don't get a performance bonus the minimum you would get is $16 an hour which is $8 per class so the bonuses are calculated every Tuesday for that week and then you get paid the 15th of every single month for the month before there are no taxes taken out so you're an independent contractor and you are in control of your taxes that is on you so the third question I get asked a lot is how often I work is it a part-time full-time job and for me personally it is a part-time job because these kids are in Beijing China the time is completely flipped for me so I'm Eastern Standard Time so when it's 9 a.m. my time it's 9 p.m. their time so the time slots are generally in the morning and at night there's none really available in the day they have a.m. shifts four different slots they have 6 40 a.m. and this is Eastern Standard Time I don't know what it is for other time zones. 6.40 a.m., 7.20 a.m., 8 a.m., and 8.40 a.m. And that's seven days a week. So you can do it Monday through Sunday. Those are the a.m. shifts. And if you do have a full-time job, this is a really good option just because it is before and after your shifts. So you can like have this job in correlation with a full-time job. And like I said, every single class is 30 minutes long. So the 6.40 class only lasts till 7.10 a.m. And then you have the 7.20 a.m. So you have 10 minutes in between time to kind of get ready and prepped for your next class. As for Fridays and Saturdays, not only do they have the AM shifts, but they also have PM shifts, which is really nice. So the PM shifts for Friday and Saturday are 8.40 PM, 9.20, 10, 10.40, and 11.20 PM. And you may be like, whoa, 11.20 PM, that's late, or 6.40 AM, that's so early. You are in charge of your schedule, so as long as you share your availability with them, they are very, very flexible, and I literally change my schedule every single week. It depends on like if I'm filming, if I'm going to be in Orlando or not. They are very, very flexible. They never say no to me or they haven't yet. So um, if that is too early for you, just tell them you can't, you know, work the 640 shift or 720 shift and you just want 8 and 840. So let's say that you're available for all of those time slots and you work all the AM shifts. That's $280. 
If you work the PM shifts, that's $100, making it a total of $380 for all AM and PM shifts, which makes it about $15.20 per month that you'd be getting. And they do have like, you know, peak seasons. So for example, next week they have all PM shifts Monday through Sunday. They'll email you and let you know the peak seasons. The thing to keep in mind is that if you tell them your availability is all shifts, they will not just give you like five shifts. They will literally give you all the shifts. If you say all shifts, make sure that you are aware that they will be giving you pretty much all the shifts in the a.m. and the p.m. Another thing to keep in mind is they have standby classes. You have to log in five minutes before the shift and if that teacher or something, I don't really know exactly how it works, but if that teacher doesn't show up or something, you kind of take their place and you get paid four dollars, I think it is, for a standby class if you don't work it, but if you do work it, um, you get paid how much you usually get paid with the classes. Every single time I've ever had a standby class, I've worked the shift. Just keep that in mind too. Don't think like, oh, if I have a standby by class I only have to log in five minutes before and I'm gonna go to dinner after like no pretty much every single time I get a standby I end up working the next question I get is the requirements what do you need in order to get hired so obviously you need a computer with a webcam you cannot use a mobile phone you also need a headset with a microphone it's in my closet but I can show you guys the headset that I use it has a little microphone it's really cute it was $20 on Amazon I'll leave that link down below if you guys want to get it it's also noise canceling which is really nice i tried the training without the headset and i just used my airpods and it really didn't work that well so the next thing obviously is an internet connection another question that i got that i wasn't aware of in my last video so i apologize if i had led you guys on but you have to live in either the u.s or canada if you don't live in the u.s or canada you can always just look up you know teaching on english online for your country technical requirements the minimum upload speed is two megabits per second and the download speed is four megabits per second there is a link I'll leave down below that you can test your speed to see if you have those on your computer I don't really know the technicality of all of that um, just go to that link and it'll test your computer to see if what your download speed is and what your upload speed is it's also required that you work six hours per week minimum and if your availability is less than six hours you won't get hired and that's 12 lessons and each lessons 30 minutes so it's not that bad and then you do not need to know Chinese a lot of people ask me how do you know Chinese I'm like I don't even know a word word of Chinese. I do know one. It's called the UN, which is like their dollar. I learned that from the kids. Yeah, you don't need to know Chinese. I only know English. That's the only language that I speak. I'll speak a little bit of French, but that's about it. Comment allez-vous? The hiring process. So again, I will leave the link down below to the application if you guys do want to apply. They have you send over your computer specs. So I use my Mac Air. You can use a PC or a Mac. It's not like required that you use a Mac. You also have to send over your availability. You're going to be installed two things you're gonna be installing the app on your computer which is just the cute kids app and then the WeChat app, which is on your phone, and that's your communication with whoever is your contact. And then you're also gonna need an ethernet cord to show them while you're in the training process. You just kind of have to show it to them just to prove that you do have like, you know, reliable internet connection. And then also the headset you need to have. And then obviously a mouse. I tried using my trackpad, whatever the heck this is called. That didn't work that well and it was really hard. So I just bought like a $7 mouse from Best Buy. I will leave one link down below I'm sure I can find one on Amazon for like super cheap so you will be required to have three interviews so the first interview is the initial screening this is when you put in your resume your availability your computer specs but you also have to do a one to two minute video introducing yourself um, you can do this through uploading a video to YouTube which a lot of people do you can find people's like YouTube like cute kids hiring video online if you just google it on YouTube you can see an example of what some people do you can also just send them one like through through like QuickTime player, through your email. You can also send it through Google Drive. Like there's so many different options. It has to be one to two minutes. You have to introduce yourself. You have to show like your educational background, where you live, um, your experience with teaching kids and telling or reading a children's book. For mine personally, because I have a YouTube channel, I linked my YouTube and that was all they needed from me. But that's the first interview and then you'll either fail or pass. So then if you pass that, you go to the demo interview number one, which is like actually 
actually in a classroom, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. But that's like where they test your technology, the Q Kids buttons, like settings, diamonds, like what do you do if you have a question, tools, equipment check, and they give you resources and tools and like little videos of like what they will be testing you on. I really recommend to watch every single video, which is about seven videos and they're all like five minutes long, but they show you in depth what the classroom is like. And I do suggest to go into the classroom before the interview and kind of play around and see what they have. They have like a mock classroom that you can use and it's really simple. Just play around with it a little bit and you'll be fine. Then when you actually do have that classroom, they demonstrate with the learning facilitator and they ask you a few questions after. For example, they'll ask you, you know, like if there's a younger kid versus um, an older kid, like what would be the difference of how you teach them and you know why do you think you're good for this job and what's your experience teaching that kind of stuff and then the second third interview but it's the second demo interview that's where you actually will be tested on your teaching they check your background which is like whatever is behind you your lighting your sound your streaming and if you pass that that's actually a paid class and you'll get $16 for both the demo interviews. If you don't pass the first demo interview, you won't get paid for that interview. But if you pass the second, you'll get paid for both. And you actually get a bonus on the second demo interview if you have a good background and you have good lighting and you're like really enthusiastic. And I just wanna share with you guys my experience with the demo interview number two is that you are kind of going through and showing your teaching. So you do have to kind of, you know, act like the kids are there and be like, oh, what's this? But you're with like a grown adult. But the weird kind of thing that I got from it was that the person who interviewed me literally acted like a kid. She would be like, okay, like, can you show me like how your teaching would be on this you know page and you're like okay what's this and she would be like it's kobe and like she would literally act but the minute like we talked like normal she would snap out of it and just become like a normal adult like it was kind of awkward and weird but pretend like that's like a real student make sure that you're super lively enthusiastic and again they're going to be showing you videos of people teaching kids and the resources before your interview so again i highly recommend to watch those and just be like them and then the fourth round it's not an interview you will have trial classes with real students and I honestly got so nervous when I saw the kids all there I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and if you mess up like don't worry you can kind of like play along with it the more you take the classes the more comfortable you'll be obviously like when I first started I was so scared I wasn't gonna know what to do and every class is so different that I was like what if I don't know something? But there's like a reference off to the side. The only thing is that the kids don't know that you're on a trial class, so you kind of have to just fake it till you make it. Now, of course, in the beginning, I was a little bit uncomfortable, but then I got better as time progressed. And now I'm like an expert in these classes and I can take on anything that they throw at me. Um, they have like two to five trial classes. If you pass those, then you will be officially hired. I was hired after my second trial class. So now I'm gonna show you guys kind of like inside the classrooms a little bit. Here is inside the cute kids classroom you have your weekly schedule here and they do it by day so I actually missed my first ever classes because I thought it was by week um, but it's per day so make sure that you're on the correct day as you can see here I already worked three of my classes this morning but I still have a few others to do tonight and over here on the right it'll tell you like what lesson it is every lesson is a bit different but they have the same characters they also have the objectives here the vocabulary as well as like the outline and then you also have all the students here that you'll be teaching you teach anywhere from one to four kids over here you can actually go into the classroom so here's like all the characters you can see so there i am hi <laughs> this is kind of the beginning of the classroom where you will be introducing yourself and getting to know the kids a little bit before class starts the kids obviously are down here. That's Momo, one of the characters. And then up here you can see all the different parts of the lesson. So you kind of just work your way through them. You know, they have the introduction, which is usually just an animation. And you ask them questions about like, what's this? And what's this? And who's this? And you can, you know, go through each different lesson. This one is learning the new vocabulary. They have these practice words where like you hide one and you kind of have to see which one's missing, like that kind of stuff they have bingo they have to click click on this sentence up here so you say the sentence and they'll click on it and you kind of just go through each one and again like I said everyone is different this one's really fun because you select a student to go first and they click go and it's kind of like 
a little trivia game. It's fun. And then you go to the summary and then you go to end, which this is where you won't be able to give any more diamonds. Wrap up the session and give them little stickers at the end. Um, but you give each kid a diamond here. They'll tell you what all of these mean um, up here, but you have like a text board, a marker. I only usually use the, the diamonds and I try to give them a hundred at least. Um, and then the leaderboard is at the end where you don't give out diamonds, you say good job, all that stuff. And I go through each person and I'll ask them, what sticker do you want? And down here you can click on, you know, Spider-Man, which they love, or, you know, bunny ears like this. They also have more stickers over here where like you can do a heart. It's really fun for the kids. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you click end and you confirm. And then you go on to your next class. And then you have your bill center here, which they'll tell you like how much money you made for the month, your income details, how much you made, your bonuses, all of that stuff, your lesson details. The performance bonus is again told every single Tuesday. And then the parents have um, an option to kind of tag if you were good or not, how much you got paid last month, and then your bank account information. And then you have your resources, which is used before your training. And these are where all the videos are. And they kind of explain to you what every, you know, button in the classroom means. Also, something I want to share with you guys real quick in the classroom. See this little light bulb up here? You click on that and they tell you how to do each interaction for each slide. So if you ever are lost and you're like, I don't know what to do, this will tell you what to do. So T is teacher. S is student, all that. And then they also have a reference here. So it's kind of the same thing as the light bulb, but you can actually talk to the person and send it to staff if you're having trouble hearing somebody or something like that, which again, they all explain in the training resources. So yeah, that is Q Kids. So after you get your formal letter in the mail, when you're hired officially, they will schedule you every single Sunday. And then um, if you ever have time off, I already, I usually request it within two weeks in advance. Um, and I'll just let them know like when I'm available for the month or not. I did a QA and a on my Instagram about what questions you guys had about Q Kids. So the first one is, do you have to be fluent in English? I would assume that you have to be fluent in English just because you're teaching English. How old are the kids? The kids are 5 to 12 years old and they are so freaking cute. Some really, really like the diamonds. Some really like the stickers. Some really like being picked first and, you know, the ones where, like, they have to individually speak. And every time you get a different student. So you're not, like, with the same student every single class. They're all different every time. How old do you have to be to apply? I don't know. I tried to look that question up, but I couldn't find it. I'm assuming you have to be 18 or 21. I would still apply. The worst that they're going to say is no, you failed the application process, which is not a big deal at all. Um, so just if you have any questions about this and you're not really sure if you're going to be able to apply, just apply and the worst they can say is no. So there's nothing wrong with just trying. Um, where are the kids from? They're, I'm pretty sure they're all from Beijing, China. Do you need your bachelor's? So I have a bachelor's degree in business management. It's not in teaching. So I got hired. Um, but I know people who don't have degrees that got hired from QKids. And I know a lot of people that are enrolled in university or college have gotten accepted. So I think it's fine for everyone. And again, if you don't have a bachelor's degree, just apply. And like I said, the worst they can say is no. And so that's going to be it for this video. I think this is going to be my last QKids video unless I'm like vlogging about it. So if you guys ever do have any more questions about QKids, definitely pop them down below. I know that a lot of you guys were interested in it and I just wanted to share the information with the people that are interested. I think it's a great, great opportunity if you do want to work from home, if you're a student, if you just want another part-time job. It's just a really good job. I really, really love it a lot. Yeah, that's going to be the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave the link to apply again at QKids in the description box down below. Good luck to everyone who does apply and hello to all my fellow QKids co-workers. See you guys all in a future video. Bye guys.